Okay, um, I'm sharing this video and a word that somebody received two months ago about this very thing. Um, so Cyber Polygon 2021 is um, going to stage large supply chain attack simulation in real time. This is from Dabu77, and he shared it yesterday. The World Economic Forum will stage another cyber attack exercise as it continues to prep for a potential cyber pandemic that founder Klaus Schwab says will be worse than the current global crisis. The SolarWinds hack served as a wake-up call to the supply chain attack vulnerability, can't say the word, vulnerabilities still present in the public and private organizations. And it served as a warning that the next breach could be exponentially worse in spreading through any device connected to the internet. Following up on last year's cyber polygon cyber attack exercise, an event aimed at preventing a digital pandemic, the WEF has announced that the 2021 edition will be taking place on July 9th. This year, Cyber Polygon 2021 will simulate a fictional, fictional cyber attack with partic participants from dozens of countries responding to a targeted supply chain attack on a corporate ecosystem in real time. Not sure what that all means, but they're planning to stage a, a large attack on supply chain. Like our supply chain hasn't been damaged already so far because everything's taken people people and companies and businesses are running out of items and it's hard to find some of the items that they try to get even like taco bell obviously hasn't been producing enough uh, wrappers because they're using plain white wrappers instead of their logo brand and like starbucks they had run out of caramel for a month or so and i ordered a dryer part <laughs> and i paid for two-day air so not even just priority but two-day air so that i could use my new dryer and um because i needed an adapter for propane and i ordered it on may 31st which was a holiday um so I expected it to ship out the first, and then I'd get it like the third or fourth at the latest, right? Well, it's the 10th, and I still haven't received it. In the meantime, I've ordered two other um, of the same part from different vendors and venues. And those two are supposed to arrive today. The first package is lost in Kentucky at the UPS Center. It's underneath someone's desk. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, even though you pay like 12 bucks for two day air, doesn't mean you're gonna get it in two days. <laughs> so we've had to make a trip to the um, laundromat. But what I'm saying is we've already had issues with supplies during this whole uh, C outbreak. So anyway, I typed in, if you go to cyberpolygon.com, um, they even say July 9th, it's uh, the International Capacity Building Initiative aimed at raising the global cyber resilience and the expansion of intersectoral cooperation against cyber threats. But that's their planned exercise day. And um, so here's a post from the video on under, undergroundworldnews.com. So it says it will... Uh, stage another cyber attack exercise as it continues to prep for a potential cyber pandemic that the founder says will be worse than the current global crisis. Anyways, it's just a little post about it. Here's the word that um, 444 News shared on May 11th, um, so a cyber attack on North America. And because they received a postal letter from somebody on May, that was dated May 1st. So yesterday I got a postal letter from someone wishing to remain anonymous. The letter was dated May 1st, 2021, and it stated that there would be a cyber attack on North America on July 9th 
2021 that will be from Jesus, better prepare. So I guess allow him allowing it to occur. I wasn't sure if I should post this information because of the problem that it contains an exact date and the track record of state setting events never pans out. On the same day, May 10, 2021, that, this, that they had received this postcard, I also got an email from Roxanne titled, Tell My People I'm Coming for Them, link below. So I'll click on that in a second. In this article, sorry, the message begins with, there is an event, summertime as a punishment to the USA, a large crowd, 100K plus, Thousands will die instantly, very destructive, instantly into eternity, lost forever, pray. Today, 5-11-2021, after original posting of this, I got an email from a viewer, July 9th also. No clue what it is supposed to be, but it's a date for something big to go very wrong, and I remember that we should have preps purchased by then. So please get ready before the next month. Um, it's actually in just a month, July 9th occurs, just in case you're not able to purchase anything online that you have what you need, or the stores don't receive their items, and then you can't buy it from the stores. Now, the above message speaks of an event in summertime. July happens to be in the summer. These three messages may be connected, or it may be coincidence that I got both these the same day. Um, now, currently here in the United States of America, there has been a cyber attack on a major pipeline. We know that. Now, the letter I got in the mail was written addressed on May 1st, and I got it yesterday, May 10th. Also addresses a future cyber attack in the future, but it was not talking about this current one, but one yet to come. Regardless of the date setting possibility of being wrong, there is still the message from Roxanne about an event in summertime. These two events both fall into the window of summertime, and it's possible not 100% for sure, speaking of same event or separate. With gas prices already five, over $5 a gallon in some parts of California and three to four in other areas of our nation, if this drags out to summertime when this next event happens, regardless of any date, this will cripple the country to a point of possible no return. This website has shared so many messages of coming economic hardships and all that comes with it, I guess this post is for nothing else than to say, get ready spiritually first and foremost. And secondly, if you have any of that stimulus money, spend it wisely because hyperinflation is just around the corner. I don't know when this will happen, but it's best to prepare for the worst and be able to help others to the best of your abilities for those who cannot or did not get ready. This will be an opportunity to share Jesus with the ones you help in this in this hard times coming. All of, as in all things, take this to the Lord in prayer. And today, May 12, 2021, I got an email about Cyber Polygon. 2021 is on July 9th, and that's what I had just shared with you about. <clears throat> and um, so it's sort of uh, coincidental, isn't it, that they got the message about the cyber attack being on July 9th, and then um, the other person also receiving that date. Where was it? Um, uh, where was it? Not the cyber attack, but um, right here. Well, this July 9th, also no clue what it's supposed to be. This is a different. A message, but it's a day for something big to go very wrong. And I remember that we should have preps purchased by then. Okay. And then the summertime event, I shared these before in a different video, but now that Dabu's video came out, I thought I should share it again. Um, her event may not be the same because it sounds like it's a, um, an attack of some kind, but it says, going forward, pray. Um, this message, this is a message which started out personal. Then he asked me to speak to the flock for him. Going forward, pray about everything you plan to do, everywhere you plan to go, regardless of his answer, obey him. I have older warnings of which I believe will come soon, 
soon come to pass. It will not be safe to travel, go to any stores, and even staying in some of your own neighborhoods. Look around, not what they are telling you on the news. Now is the time to seek God with all you've got. He speaks to you in, small, in, a stall, in a small, still, quiet voice. If you are in immediate danger, you may hear something different, such as audible voices. You can do it. The devil does not want you to hear God or the Holy Spirit. Not sure? Test it. Tell him to show you again. Phone call, family or friend, even a billboard. Be open to him. Always prepare over every word you read, including what he gives me to publish. Your spirit will agree or you will get what most of us call a check. It is a feeling something is not right. You have to learn to do this yourselves. Yes, trying to put myself out of business. Do not ask for anything other than to seek God now. Freely he gave to me. Freely I give on this behalf. He, gives, he gave me information on an event coming this summer about a coming judgment. The start of the message. There is an event, summertime as a punishment to the USA, a large crowd, 100K plus, thousands will die instantly, very destructive, instantly into eternity, lost forever, pray. And that was the end of the message. I do not have any specifics to share. All I have is this little bit of information. It is a judgment. With that said, please pray for these people, their salvation, and God's mercy. He is angry. If you knew the half of it, you would say bring it, even at your own lack of discomfort. We never pray against his judgments. They come with a purpose. If he provides more understanding, I will share it. Start. Tell my people I'm coming for them in their hearts. They do not believe me. They serve me, but they do not believe me. Tell my people I love them so very much. I love them. He refers to the Song of Solomon and his love for us. Tell the weary I'm coming for them. Hang on a little longer. Will you hang on a little longer? This too shall pass. We will all be together very soon, sooner than you think. Do you think I will drag my bride through the mud after she has re readied herself for me? No, not so. You are my hidden ones, hidden under the shelter of my wings. You will soon see just how hidden you all are. You you will all be transformed in a moment. You will walk the earth in all power and authority. You do now know, you do now, but most doubt this. You will have no doubts of who you are. You will have no doubts that I have truly chosen you. All doubts will be gone. Keep praying, my children. You are making great changes in the kingdom to come. The enemy is losing. His intimidation tactics are failing. He knows this, so do you. It may not feel this way, as many have already loved, lost loved ones. Celebrate their entry into my courts of praise. There is a great celebration as my children have made it home, back to me. My mercy endures forever. Many doubt the salvation of those who have passed. You do not know the hearts of those who have passed. It is not for you to decide who goes to heaven or hell. That is my decision, O ye of little faith. Have I not taught you anything? Read my word, you will see, you will see their joy in my word. Study the, th the thief on the cross. He is the example of living a life of hell and evil. He is here with me. Do not judge lest you be judged. This is why I ask you to pray without ceasing. Hearts are being changed. Evil is being traded for good. Endure to the end. Your rewards are with me. I'm coming for you soon. Do not doubt. Do not despise the gift of time I give each of you. Spend it well, spend it wisely, no time to waste. Love Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. <clears throat> In Matthew 25, 14 to 30, For it is just like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted with them his possession, possessions. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and another one, each according to his own ability. And he went, <clears throat> and he went on his journey. The servant who had received five talents went at once and put them to work and gained five more. Likewise, the one with two gained two more. But the servant who had received the one went, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned to settle accounts with them. The servant who had received five talents came and presented the five more. Master, he said, you trusted me with five. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well, God done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things enter into the joy of your master the servant who had received the two talents also came and said master you entrusted me with two talents see i have gained two more his master replied well done good and faithful servant 
You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Finally, the servant who had received the one talent came and said, Master, I knew that you were a hard man, reaping where you had not sown and gathering where you had not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, you have what belongs to you. You wicked, lazy servant, replied his master. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Then you should have dis deposited my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received back with interest. Therefore, take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. But the one who does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. And throw that worthless servant into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 